Just seeing my mom again go through what she did and I know that ovarian cancer is much more silent and you don't know in a lot of cases you have it until you're at a you know stage two or three. Um, I had had my kids. My husband and I were finished with our family and they were healthy and um, my periods weren't the funnest so I had no res reservations about the oophorectomy at all. I'm not ready. I don't, I'm not ready to... And you, can you tell us why you're not ready yet? Because I still feel like I, I might want to have a baby. <laughs> so, and I'm scared to go into surgical menopause. Because when I see my geneticist, they're talking about the risks of keeping your ovaries versus the risks of going into early menopause in my 30s. Because there's long-term risks, bone health, cardiovascular health. What's worse? That's where I'm at, right? And then I really talked to my geneticist. Um, but the last time I saw her, which was a couple of months ago, now instead of being having your ovaries out by age 40, now the research is showing by age 35. So she's going back. But I talked to her about what my life is, what I want, what I may need, and she said that if I want to do the screening, do the screening. But it's not, she just warned me that it's not 100% accurate, and it won't be, but I'm willing to take that risk right now. Just the fact that I'm unsure, I'm unsure. I don't feel sure. When I had my mastectomy, I was sure. It was 100% positive, that's what I wanted to do, and I wanted to do it fast. But this, I can't, I don't feel comfortable deciding. Well, I think I'm focused more on the breast cancer right now just because the risk is so much higher. But ovarian's risky too because it's more of a silent, you know, you can't, there's not a lot of screening that's being done from what I understand. Um, so that's been really interesting too because that's another conversation I've had with my boyfriend about having kids. I mean, that's huge and basically from what I understand, between the age of 35 and 40 is when they are recommending to do the oophorectomy, which again, it's a day surgery and I think I've seen women go through it, my aunt's been through it, my mom will go through it and as a young person, sure, maybe I have a little bit more of a, you know, I have to plan a little bit more, but it still allows me to do the things that I want to do, have a family, have kids, you know. So that's one really good thing about finding out young. You actually have that opportunity to plan your family, your future.